Yo, bloody actor here guys and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. Uh, yeah, I'm not a tech reviewer, so I'm not a tech reviewer, sorry, <laughs> I rushed through that one. But uh, yeah, I'm not a tech reviewer, so keep your negative comments away from the comment section. Be sure to like and subscribe, share these videos, by the way, it really helps if you share them with your friends, with your family, with people who are interested in PCs. Even people who are not interested in PCs, generally, I found that they tend to be interested in these videos. But uh, yeah, today's setup is an interesting one because it's a gamer girl, it's the first gamer girl setup. Uh, and this is uh, the setup of Peaches, that's her... User tag everywhere. So I think the people in the Discord community know her. She's been there for a long time. I think when you say Gamer Girl, I think most people think of Queen Arrow in Kenya, but uh, they're on console, which is something weird that all Gamer Girls are on console. I think I know a few who are on PC, but most of them tend to be on console. But uh, yeah, let's go check her setup out. So yeah guys, uh, come check her setup out. Um, this one again is on the clean side of things. Again, a lot of people seem to be putting a lot of effort in their setups. I really like it. It's clean, nice, live. Um, I love the desk. I think I've said that like, uh, I've said that like a million times because it's like the 20th take. But overall, pretty nice, man. Uh, pretty, pretty clean. I don't know what you guys think. But uh, yeah, let's uh, check out the specs that she's rocking here. For the PC case, she's choosing to go with the Thermaltake Versa H18 uh, PC case. Again, tempered glass, which allows you to see the insides of your PC. That is assuming your PC looks good on the inside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, inside uh, the case, we have a Ryzen 5 2600 uh, AMD processor, which is um, a 6 core 12 thread uh, processor. Seems to be a very popular combo among us the mid-tier setups but uh yeah cooling the cpu we have a deep cool storm tf120 which is paired up with a 120 millimeter white led fan love it for the ram there she's choosing to go with the t-force vulcan uh ddr4 16 gigabyte kit which uh, is clocked at 3200 megahertz again this ram kit seems to be a popular one as well for the gpu she's choosing to go with an amd rx uh, 570 which is um, eight gigabytes and uh, for the memory, she has a 500 gig SSD from Western Digital paired up with another Western Digital one terabyte hard drive. All of this is mounted on an MSI B5, not 5, but for 50M Motormax motherboard. Pretty common motherboard as well. And uh, powering the whole unit, we have a gold edition 550 watts cooler master power supply. So yeah, those uh, that's uh, this is really a mid-tier setup. Um, I love it. This will get you your gaming. This will just get the job done in terms of um, gaming there. So pretty um, popular, or let's just say pretty common parts um, that you've seen on previous setups as well. But uh, let's head on over to the monitor there, which is an AOC uh, 24G2. 1080p 144 hertz 23 inch monitor which is also a another popular monitor brand i think this is like the fourth time um we are mentioning this monitor but uh yeah the monitor is mounted on its own original mount there if we head on over to the keyboard we are looking at the hyper x alloy fps mechanical gaming keyboard um, it's not rgb you can only light up in one color which is red as you can see for the mouse there she's choosing to go with the logitech g304 which is a wireless mouse i do like it by the way it feels nice and heavy in my hand i do like a heavy mouse for the mouse mat, she's choosing to go with just a generic Intel mouse mat, which she got from Andy Shuffle. Most of these parts, I think, she got from Andy Shuffle. And uh, another one, which is a Logitech uh, mouse mat. For the headphones, she's choosing to go with another popular set of, uh, I would say this is a bit expensive because they are above 10,000, but it's the HyperX Cloud Alpha gaming headphones. Pretty comfortable. Um, I do like them. I do like the way they sound. 
For the microphone, we have a second entry for the Maono, which is the Maono AU PM421, exactly like the last uh, microphone which was on Frank's setup. For the chair there, she's choosing to go with the generic office chair. I do like it. Um, uh, when I sat down on it, it has very good back support. So, yeah. For the internet, um, she's choosing to go with the Safaricom Home Fiber uh, bronze package, which I believe is the lowest and uh, cheapest package. So, yeah. All of this uh, is supposed to be um, around 136,000 Kenya shillings. I'm assuming this is excluding the desk and the office chair. So we're talking, if we, I think if we're talking about everything, I think we're talking about like something like 160, but 150, 140,000 seems to be the money you need to have for you to have a mid-tier gaming um, setup. So hopefully that gives you a budget to work with so um uh, yeah what do you use this setup for um i use it mostly for work um, i do a lot of freelancing online work and playing video games as well and what's your name is? all right did you assemble this or did you buy everything at once um i bought the keyboard mic and headphones separately but um, desktop na monitor ndio zilikuja pamoja Andy assembled the desktop and monitor for me right and the shuffle i think i mentioned and the shuffle a couple of times you're going to hear him a lot so if you also but if you if you, if you also build pcs uh, you can submit the people you built you the i mean the pcs for so so at least they can feature other guys as well and uh, of course you said uh, you bought this most of this stuff from Andy shuffle you the keyboard you bought locally or you imported i imported the keyboard um with sabusto no uh all can it kentex no it's v2 mob yes v2 mob hey, that's a new one v2 mob they ship stuff yes when uh who tax they just charge you for tax and shipping and then they bring it to you to wherever you are all right bit more but i've never heard of them but uh, yeah that's a first i guess i guess but uh, anything uh, what do you like uh, about this setup kwanza i like the case i think in a, in a kwanga very nice and nice just to look at the zingine at a, if i'm not doing anything i just don't mind so i really like the case and my keyboard L- looking at the interior of the case is therapeutic is that what you mean yes <laughs> anyway uh, is there anything you're planning to change about this setup um not really maybe get a smaller keyboard napenda keyboard yangu but i'd like maybe a smaller one and it takua easy to move around with because umesikia iko mzitu Oh, the, the the you mean the mini one? You mean a light? Do you mean a lighter keyboard or a smaller keyboard? A smaller keyboard. Like at a heavy when you make it's still consuming so much space. But still like a full keyboard, but a bit lighter. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's okay. Um. So yeah, okay. And the internet, how is Safaricom serving you so far? Um, so far so good it on a bit of latency issues I think maybe because it's too windy but it was sour. see as frustrating as Zuku because I had Zuku before and Zuku ilikuwa inapotea kabisa and then it comes back and then inapotea so Safaricom is a bit better than Zuku yeah, Safaricom I, I, I don't know I think Safaricom of late has been kind of iffy by the I don't know if, if they are overcrowded they do not want to increase bandwidth but <sighs> Yeah, it's been, there was a time, because I even remember, even even though I'm, I'm on third party, I remember there was a time my internet used to be good, and then all of a sudden it stopped being good, but uh, maybe Safaricom will fix that, and uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, we've come to the end of the video, and I do believe Peaches has something to tell you. It's a meetup for gamers, so come. For the first time, again, uh, this is like the 20th take, I'm not going to pretend I'm excited anymore, but... Uh, Yes, for the first time someone has chosen to appear on camera. And uh, yeah, bitches. Uh, hello guys. So we have a Discord community meetup here at Indegua um, on 30th July. 
it will be on a Saturday. So we have great food, we have a swimming pool, we have pool table and a lot of other fun activities that will get to help you interact better. So everyone is welcome and hope to see you there. All right, man, Miss Kiyo, there's a swimming pool, man. So all the bitches, man, don't take it personally. I just, it's just a thing I say. But I can add white, I can Ray. Ray, 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 we play with you, Valorant. But uh, yeah, man, you've heard it. 30th July. Be sure, make sure you're here, man, uh, to support her uh, out and to also interact with other people. But if you enjoy the videos, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, share. And uh, yeah, if you want me to come visit you, if you want me to come check your setup out, hit me up on Instagram, Discord, and uh, you know, anywhere you can find me on the comment section. And yeah, I guess I have nothing else to say other than I should see you in the next one.